This is Greater Catan, which was introduced in Seafarers. And if you don't know, this is a, a long game of Catan. If you really want to sit down, get comfy, get cozy, and play for a long time, maybe lose and be horribly upset, then uh, this is the scenario for you. Because you start off on the main island in the middle, and then what you do is you build... If you build to the smaller islands surrounding, the first four um, times or the first four hexes you touch, it'll automatically generate a random number. But any hex you touch after that, because you notice they're all blank, you will have to take a hex off of the main island and put it on that new hex. Now, this can get pretty frustrating because people can sometimes take one of your numbers and now that number that you had on the main island, is n now it's that hex is not producing anything and they can build on that number on the new island and chances are you're not going to be anywhere near that hex on the new island to build on it. So, um, there's not really a challenge in this video, but... Basically what I'm doing is kind of like a PSA, public service announcement, to tell you guys, do not build your cities on the main island. In Greater Catan, do not build your cities on the main island. I cannot stress that enough. Because as soon as your numbers start getting taken away, yeah, that city is worth two victory points, but... You gotta really think long term in this game. This game is to 18 victory points. Yeah, I know, that, that's almost 20. So you gotta really plan out what you're doing here. And you basically have to build to these islands to win. And But in doing so, you're taking numbers from your main island over to those smaller islands. Because uh, obviously you see the hexes are blank at first. So yeah, you do not want to build your cities on the main island because as soon as your numbers start getting taken away, you're just you're going to be like really really dry when it comes to resources and it's just going to suck and the game is just going to take forever for you to accumulate resources cuz what do you know? You you built your uh actually, you know, you and you actually get 8 cities. In this um, scenario, because look, look at uh, yellow's pieces, or is that orange? It's like yellowish orange. In the on the left side of your screen, you see all the pieces laid out um, next to the board. You actually have eight cities. So, but still, you just, I mean, maybe like maybe build one or two cities, but I, I still, I wouldn't build any of my cities on the main island. I just still want to do it, because as, once I can get my, set, get settlements built on the new islands, I'll be upgrading all of those. I don't care what the number is. Even if it is an 11, which I do not personally like, but um, it still got rolled, so um, I guess I'll, I'll let it be. And here it's funny because I'm trying to build a settlement, but it keeps thinking I want to build a ship. And you have to click in just the right spot on that 3-5. So finally I get it. And red does have a longish road, but I feel like, I feel at this point in the game, like I, mean, I had it going pretty good because I not only had the stone port, but I also had the wheat port. And that's the other thing. With Greater Catan, you want to just get as many ports as you can on the main island with settlements on them and then get off the main island. And here was a hot trade I couldn't couldn't resist. Two two different cards for one of my wheats and I had five wheat. So that was a nice like a two for one trade what I got except it was like the opposite of a port trade, which is even better one of my wheat for two different cards so yeah I, I end up getting this wood port and I was thinking about just building a ship straight over to the brick but I was like I was like yeah let me play it safe I know it's an 11 I know it's an 11 
but let me get that wood port. So now I have stone port, weed port, and wood port. And as you can see, I'm built right now, mostly built on stone, wheat, and wood. So this is gonna, oh, this is gonna help me out so much. See, you, you, you gotta set it up for long term. Like, you may not, yeah, it's 11 stone, but now you have three ports. And now it's just gonna, later on, it's gonna help you when you, you know, need to trade, shuffle your cards around, trade them in a little bit. Help you get those, the other cards you need easier, like the uh, brick and sheep that I'm not very well built on. Actually, I'm not even built on brick. I have one sheep hex, which is a 10, which was, eh, it's kind of rolled. And she put that pirate there. Okay, I, I guess she was, like, blocking me from building out to the brick hex, but, like, if she wanted to take a card, she would have had to put the pirate where my ships were. But anyways, that's her thing. I'll, I'll put the robber on her later, and before I realize she has zero cards, so. I mean, you win some, you lose some, you know? So yeah, Greater Catan, I think you can also play Greater Catan in the Cities and Knights um, expansion. So you have Cities and Knights going, and you have the Seafarers Greater Catan. Catan scenario going and oh if you had four people playing this it'd, it'd be absolutely absurd and actually even more absurd if you had you were playing like the physical board game at your house and you had the uh, expansion pack for five to six players to play and you played this scenario it'd be madness absolute madness yeah the main island would be bigger but people will be like ripping numbers off of their left and right once they start building out to the surrounding islands and there's a hot five I like see I got my double cities on the five and nobody there's no chance that that five can be moved from there because numbers can only be taken off the main island so that's why I I stand by it build your cities off of the main island not on the main island because here we go I gotta take a number because I built to that brick so I was like, eh, I just have a settlement there, no problem. So I'll just take it off my sheep. I know it's my only sheep, but I have three ports, so I'm really not sweating it. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for another ship. And I was, like, weary about it. I was like, eh, do I really want to take another one of my numbers already? But then I was like, you know, I've already built up enough on that uh, island up in top left of your screen with the... 5 wheat, 11 wheat, 3 wood, so, plus I got my other number, so it, I, I can handle losing a f 4 stone with the settlement on it, because that way red cannot build, will not want to build to that stone hex anymore, because there's no number on it, plus by taking that 10 sheep away, I also took her 10 sheep away, now she has nothing there, so yeah, there, there goes the robber that I placed on her, and I believe I go ahead and use the knight. Do I use her right now? Yeah, because I'm like, let me let me make a power play here. Let me get the largest army, and then... Oh, no, I don't get a city this turn. I think I was going for it. Oh, right, 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 right. I was like, yep, no cities on that main island. Let me get my settlement out here on this small island, and then I'll go for a city. And I thought that by building on the small islands, you get uh, two extra victory points, like a Catan chit for, like a C-H-I-T chit. It's a weird word. But um, I guess you don't get those in the greater Catan scenario but you do get them in other seafair scenarios where you get two extra victory points for building on a new island for a total of three, which is very spicy. And yes, I was got largest army, and then I draw road building. So I'm like, well, I don't have a sheep hex anymore with a number on it, so how about I go on over here and get over this sheep hex? I'm like, what number do I have to take? And I was like, you know what, let me take this 9, because I already have two other wheat hexes that are doing really well for me. Plus I got the wheat port, so it ain't no thing. And 
I was, oh, I could have built a settlement right there, but I was thinking, again, long term. you got to think long term in this game. I'm, I'm at 12 victory points. I'm only six away, but still, you got to think long term. So I was like, I want longest road forever. So I built the road, one more road to the coastline, so then it would be a lot easier connecting my two different longest sh- uh, two different shipping routes. They're not the longest yet. Obviously, Red still has the longest road or... As in seafarers, technically, it's called the longest shipping route. So here we go. I build the settlement there. Now, look, I'm only uh, one, two, three, four, five ships away from connecting those up. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice time to uh, be me and Catan right now. Very nice. It's just going. Everything's going well. Even though the robber shut down my five, I could have got four wheat there. But you know what? I got other ports going, so let me just upgrade to a city real quick. And at this point, I thought it, it like blew my mind. I looked down at mine because I didn't even notice uh, the pieces to the left of the board that belonged to Jega. So I thought this whole time that I only had four cities, which is absurd. I should have remembered Greater Catan has little different rules, but. My memory is garbage. So then I was, mm, I was like, guess who I'm taking from? I'm taking a hot eight, and I'm taking it from red, because red is the only threat in this game right now, because Jig is just chilling at three points. And here we go. I bought a fourth knight just to make sure that uh, Winnie the Pooh 100 wasn't going to take my largest army, because, look, Winnie the Pooh has... Three knights played. And she had, look, right here she has four progress cards this turn. And, but, I'm going to take that longest road. And I thought she was going to, um, play a lar- one more knight. How can she not have one more knight in all those four progress cards? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So I'm like, let me just play around a little bit. Let me build some ships over to this island that, um, that uh, yellow uh, shore in Trujillo failed to fully explore, and I'm like, and it's it's kind of weird how how you it gives you the choice of what numbers you can take from the main island. Like I'm not, ex- I'm still not sure how that works. But I was like, oh, let me be a little nice and jig and only take a two instead of the three. But then I build another ship over here. It's like, oh, you're actually going to take that three now. I'm like, all right, whatever. And so now, here we go. She plays Year of Plenty. She she must have not had a, a knight. It just... But, like, did she have, like, what, victory points? I'm, I'm so, like... I cannot figure this out. All she had to do was play one knight, take Larger Sami from me. And it would have been... I mean, she would have extended the game. I, I, maybe she was tired of playing. We were playing for a good hour. But I'm like, I'm like, eh, I don't got much... I will build a settlement there. Let me just go ahead, buy another uh, knight, see what happens. But then it's like, oh, congratulations. We'll just give you a victory point. You win. So, yeah, that's Greater Catan. Do not build cities on the main island, and I will uh, see you around.